More U.S. troops are heading to Eastern Europe amid concerns of Russia invading Ukraine. The San Diego Congresswoman Sarah Jacobs, who represents the 53rd District, returned recently from Ukraine, where she met with their Minister of Defense and their President during that trip. She joins us now on the floor. First off, uh, Representative Jacobs, thanks for joining us. Uh, we know that you just tested positive for COVID today. How are you feeling? Well, thank you. It's great to be here with you. I feel uh, fine, just some mild symptoms. Very grateful to be vaccinated and boosted uh, and for, for everything science has given us. Uh, glad you're feeling okay. I do want to jump into the topic that, of course, is making headlines for today. And I want to ask you a question, though, for some of our viewers who have not followed the story very closely. What is Russia's interest in Ukraine and why is the U.S. feeling that it needs to get involved? You know, it's a great question. Um, Russia has always felt that Ukraine is part of Russia, uh, that they are a single entity, a single people. Uh, and a, a lot of the history of the 20th century in this area has been Ukrainian nationalists fighting for their own country and for self-determination. And so um, Russia feels both for uh, that sort of reminiscent uh, reasons and also for geostrategic and security reasons that it wants Ukraine to be part of uh, the Russian uh, uh, worldview, um, that it's worried that Ukraine is moving closer to the West, that Ukraine has asked to join the EU, has asked to join NATO, uh, and it feels like this might be its last chance to get a, a government in Ukraine that is more uh, pro-Russian. Ukraine fighting to maintain its sovereignty. You just traveled to Ukraine. You met with the president and minister of defense. Do they feel that further armed conflict is inevitable? And, and how do you feel about that after being on the ground there? I absolutely don't think that it's inevitable. Uh, we know that Russia is building up troops on the border with Ukraine, both in the east and in Belarus. Um, we know that this is not the first time that Russia has used aggression to get uh, what they want. We saw it in 2008 and 2014 with their invasions into Ukraine, into Georgia, uh, with their annexation or attempted annexation of Crimea. Um, and I think it's important that we, as a, a Western community, the United States, our European allies, partners and allies around the world, make it very clear what the severe consequences will be if Vladimir Putin decides to invade, um, but we also are working diligently uh, to try and de-escalate, to find a diplomatic solution, uh, to make sure that we aren't unnecessarily uh, going into war. And the Biden administration has been working very hard to do that. And part of what uh, I was doing there was to talk with our European allies, to talk with uh, the Ukrainian government and, and see what diplomatic options uh, are possible. So as we're sending over U.S. troops, though, and we talked about uh, a thousand of our troops from Fort Bragg joining several thousand who are already in Eastern Europe, does that sound like things are going well as far as diplomacy is concerned, that the talks are working out well uh, to send U.S. troops over, of course, keeps a military town like San Diego on heightened alert? Of course, and I know people are really worried about that. I think the most important thing to say is that no uh, American troops are going to Ukraine. The president has been very clear that he's not sending American troops to Ukraine and the Ukrainians uh, don't want American troops there. What we're doing is sending additional troops to our NATO allies, to Poland, to Romania, uh, two allies that we already have uh, treaty obligations to defend if Russia decides to attack them. Uh, just to show our allies that we're there, that we're not going anywhere, and, and they can trust the word of the United States and that we are united as a tran transatlantic alliance. 53rd Congressional District Representative Sarah Jacobs, thanks for joining us. Just back from Ukraine. A quick last question. Will there be any resolution here anytime soon? Uh, I think that we are going to see uh, either an escalation or a de-escalation in short order um, for a variety of reasons, including that uh, the weather changes in Ukraine in the spring make a military invasion more difficult. So we are working within a, a pretty short time frame uh, to hopefully be able to de-escalate this crisis. Well, the world is watching. Congresswoman Sarah Jacobs, we appreciate your time and certainly hope that you feel better. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.